Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. We are playing the Rifleman 2C today because this one here has something very unique. This mech can do something that no other mech can do. And that is, we can run four clan large pulse lasers at the same time. Why? Because it's a stock build and PGI decided that um, people should be able to play the stock build as it comes without any kind of uh, surprises and uh, heat penalties. So it gave the clan Rifleman 2C the clan large pulse laser HSL plus two the heat scale limit plus two which means we can again fire four at the same time and that's exactly what we're going to be doing it is a very simple build it's a very straightforward build and uh, here you can see we have two large pulse on the right arm we got two large pulse on the left arm nothing crazy about it we also have one jump jet for baseline mobility to get over obstacles and maybe get the higher ground on maps like uh, hibernal rift or canyon networks stuff like that the problem that the rifleman 2c has though it is that you know, the engine rating is quite limited. We can only go for a 234 rated engine as the maximum we can take, which uh, kind of leaves us at assault max speed. We only run 58.6 kph in this one. So think ahead, think where you want to be and engage at range. Why? Because we also have a range quirk of 10% and that means that we can shoot at about 730 meters range. That is a lot. But as you can see in the little diagram there, in the damage diagram, that the damage falls off quite quickly. So we can only shoot at about like, let's say like 900 meters total so beyond that you wouldn't deal any damage anymore but anyway we have 48 damage alpha strike pinpoint it's not pinpoint but it's very very condensed um but yeah 48 damage over and over and over again actually gives you a good dps and gives you gives you a good i would say damage over time it's not good dps but it's good damage over time the rest as you can see is just heat management we also got a, a jump jet here again as i was saying and that's a super super easy build to play but it's a bit squishy, so keep in mind that you shouldn't be on the front line with this. We also have a bunch of skills here, so let's talk about them for a second. As you can see, I was going for every single point of heat gen that I could squeeze out of this. I was also going for laser duration, and uh, I was trying to skip cooldown wherever I could. So I don't need that one, I don't need that one, because the mech is getting too toasty if you shoot too often. So therefore, try to manage your heat a lot, and try to not just overstep your boundaries. And um, as soon as you are at a maximum heat scale, then cooldown wouldn't benefit you anymore, so therefore I'm just gonna skip that here. Instead, I'm gonna go for a bit of skeletal density as well as armor hardening. And what's more important is, is maximum cool run and maximum heat containment on the operations tree as well as radar deprivation and of course a double cool shot. And my support auxiliary slot is filled with an advanced uh, um, artillery strike today. And that's the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now and uh, if you have that then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Robolite Oasis and I definitely want to try to get the high ground. So where do we go? I think it's gonna be a good idea to go to the right side, to the Delta 6 side. I know it's a bit NASCAR-ish but at the same time we are playing Robolite. There are so many avenues that you can take. So uh, I like the map and uh, Again, I like the high ground, I like to shoot enemies early on, I like to uh, shoot enemies fast. The thing is, we are a little bit slow, so we need to find our position and uh, we need to get into a position where we can actually shoot our enemies. So let's move as quickly as possible, which is 58.6 kph. Now, let's do a little bit of a heat build-up check. And as you can see, we get to 50% heat on this Rubelite hot map. And uh, this is actually quite good. Also, I like that the Viper is going up here. He's, um, he's uh, peeking out, he is scouting for us. We have the circle, by the way, so that's good. And um, since he is uh, more or less on the front line and hopefully distracting a bunch of enemies, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to shoot those guys who are trying to contest our Viper friend. He lost 3% of armor already, and I wonder if that's shooting or if that's fall damage that he took. I'm not entirely sure about that. But yeah, he is still, he's still in the fight. Oh, this is good. It's 800 meters. This is what we want. I mean, 732, but still. 760, 750, yeah, as soon as we have line of sight, we're gonna be in optimal range. So let's check it out. There's a guy, 600 meters, Kodiak. Let's do it! There we go, got one, a blast out. We're gonna try to take another... Actually, that's fine. So, Arty Strike on the Jaguar, so he is being pushed back. And I wanna see if I can find my friend the Kodiak again. Can I? I cannot! But there is a chance we can find the Jaguar once more. By just staying here. I'm not going to push any further. Because there are people on the left side. And I don't like getting shot from that side. So here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Got some people there. There's a Shadow Cat. Shadow Cats don't like getting damage early on. What is that dude? Interesting. 
All right, Shadowcat. All right, everybody. Let's get out of here. This is way too much. This is everybody right in front of us. Like, right in front of us. I don't want to lose my arm. That's important to me. So, watch the high ground. Nothing there. Good. I'm going to make a wide circle around this whole situation here. The wider we can go now, the more room they have to cover. And the better it is for us. Okay. Mm, there's a, a cougar. Oh, the cougar. That Saito also needs to go. I'm going to stay on him. I couldn't. Yeah, this is not, not going to work. All right. So, pulling back. We have a kill already, which is good. It's very beneficial. At the same time, we have a lot of enemies. Uh, all right. Jaguar Bravo in the bottom. Can we take... We could take him. All right. So, we dropped one cool shot. It's still a problem with our position here. Because we have the cat on the right flank somewhere. Probably here-ish now. And we have those guys everywhere, basically. Peek up again. Or... Mr. Timber, are you gonna come around? It's not a Timber, it's something else. Uh, and we have 3-0. That's good. People are moving, though. People are moving. I gotta move with them. Guys, low mobility means we gotta plan ahead. This is so important. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm blocking. But at the same time, we're just gonna push forward and kill this guy. And then we have a safe position again. This guy's up top. So, the guy that we have right next to us. Actually, look at that. That's a, that's a shadow cat. Nice kill. Still one guy right on top of us, which I don't like too much. See that? I cannot reach him right now, and then there's a crazy rotation going on. Uh, oh no, I couldn't twist anymore. So we gotta keep up with the rotation. There is no way that we're gonna hold this here, not with our make 5 and 5. We are still in the fight. <laughs> what a crazy fight, though. Yeah, let's get the stalker, please. Come on, let's try. I'm, I'm gonna push forward. I have to. Sadly, because <laughs> there are enemies right in our backs. Hey, Sunny Spider, what about you? You're ATM, okay, cool. Let's try to shoot you in the butt because that's your center torso hitbox in the back. God, everybody's everywhere. That's not a good spot anymore. All right, so we're gonna stay on target. Let's try to take the Sun Spider. I'm still stuck here. Coming around the corner. And we get the kill. And well, now we're gonna turn back because there's a Stalker that is currently shut down but still alive. So we're gonna change that real quick if we can. We got that. All right. Eight and eight. This is so crazy. We are still in this fight here. How are you, buddy? I think we have to fight our way out of that. Come on. Show yourself. So we got that, dude. We are nine and eight. <laughs> Those guys want me dead. Of course they want. Because that's what they are here for. That's what their objective is in the game. So we got that down. Oh, boy. Can we somehow survive that? I don't know. Leave my little right, right side alone. It's funny that we are still alive. Again, trying to, ah, uh, I wanted to say, trying to twist as much as possible. Now, the only thing I can provide now is being a meat shield. I try to make it as hard as possible for our enemies to kill me. And I don't know if they're going for me, but you know what? I think we, we just won the game because the Viper is the last one. And I'm just gonna try to attract the fire. Yeah, go for me, please. It's fine. Get the kill. Leave my friends alone so that they can shoot you. We did like 700 damage, 680, 678 to be more specific. In this game, nice torso twist. I tried, man. I tried so hard and I've got so far. And in the end, it mattered a lot, man. I think it really mattered here. So Viper is down. He overheated to death. And that is game, everybody. That was so cool. I mean, it was so heavy in terms of rotation. That was not so cool. But um, yeah, we, we were forced. It was very messy. It was uh, We had to make a lot of very quick decisions here. And we came out on top of that. We got one killing blow. We got 11 assists. We got three kill most damage dealt. 700, sorry, 678 damage done, 500 taken with two components destroyed. And that is the first round, everybody. So let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Caustic Valley and I motivated my team to go to the left side. Hopefully, I don't want to NASCAR. Ideally, I'm gonna stay here because that's like 400 meters and our enemies will be coming from... I mean, that's the Caldera. I'm coming from the left side there. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, um, let's try to go for a counter Nazca. Again, going to the Echo 4 area, trying to get things done here would be best. Also, one thing that I quickly want to point out. I could try to set up on the flanking position, but I would be so susceptible to getting killed by Light Max. So, I think it's not a good idea. I cannot really defend myself with a build like that. One uh, or two Alpha Strikes and I'm done for. Which means that um, if I don't kill my enemy then, then I'm just toast. So... We're gonna go up here, we're gonna use our long range to poke around that hill, if possible. Let's go for night vision. Oh, I love that count on Asgard, it's really good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna drop- whoa, did you see what happened here? 
All right, I drop Artie Strike. I really hope I'm not getting hit by the Goose Rifle. Just hold it here, guys. Hold it. It's, it's fine. We're going to get this done. Cool. So they have a UAV up. Let me quickly take that real quick. All right, that's down. And this is it. We're just going to wait for those enemies to... I wanted to say to come. Don't hit me. Okay, you didn't go for me. I'm so lucky. And it seems like my, my team is going more to the center of this whole thing. So we're going to go with them. Uh, again, I don't want to get lost here. I don't want to um, get the, you know, left behind. Hello, assassin. Oh, to the center torso. He didn't like that. He's a piranha. Piranha's trying to flank. Just lag him. Echo. Got him. Cool. So, definitely a good kill here. Just hold left side, guys. Don't rotate. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Cicada. Gonna do that. Team is, uh, team is a bit hesitant. Team is a bit afraid. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust to the movement of the team here. Ugh, sorry for that. So yeah, we're gonna go to the right side at this point. People want to try to find an angle on our enemy, so might as well go with them here. All right, let's go down here. Maybe we can get something done. Let's uh, go for the Wolverine. That side also is open. Beautiful. So let's try to make him go away completely. Wolverine is one shot. Get the Wolvie. What's that? It's a stalker with lots of lurms. All right, let's try to get that side torso, which we got, by the way. Three and two, looking good. Enemies behind us. Still? Didn't expect that supernova there. Yeah, I'm gonna help. I'm coming. I'm coming. So, um, how long can you hold this here? Uh, let's try to kill him. Uh, that's actually worth a cool shot. We're gonna try to destroy the other side. Beautiful. And now the Vapor Eagle, who's just standing there, who's not even moving. Dude, you should move. You should really move. You should really move as a Vapor Eagle, dude. I'm sorry, but... Eh. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know what he was about to. Uh, we are 8 and 3. Hey, Cyclops. What's up, man? Where are my enemies? Wait, are they all gone? Where, where are they? I mean, there's somebody. Hey, it seems to be a Shadow Cat. Got it. So that's a thing. Is he gonna jump up again? Probably. He's probably here, right? Oh, there he is. Too late, though. So, yeah, we're gonna just hunt some squirrels, I guess. That's what we're gonna be doing now. Gotta keep an eye on the on the high ground there, because the Shadow Cat might come from that area. Oh, you see the jump jets? He's behind the rock. There's another guy down here. He's an F3. There's two stealth in that Yeah, that's a Flea and the Shadow Cat, I believe. There is PPCs firing. Got him. See him. Beautiful. And again, we have the range. There should be a Flea somewhere in Echo 3. Yeah, Echo 3 is a Flea. And... Then the Shadow yeah. Cat and Fox 4. There's a the guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Take that, mister. Uh, F2? Where's... What? Still? How did you get to F2? There's the kitten again. We're gonna get that guy again. And it seems like they're kind of pulling back towards that backwards area. I don't really want to give up my high ground. But at the same time, I want to be engaged with my enemies. So let's try to hunt them. Let's try to get there. Or maybe we should... We should help out here because there's a fight happening on the other side. 71%. 70%. Yeah, he's fighting. So somebody's at base. He has the cat. Got him. Oh, nice. We even destroyed a component. And we got him. Perfect. So what about the fight on the base? There is a... That's a, the Pirate's Bane. It wasn't even a flea. It was a Pirate's Bane. So what are you fighting down here? You had some light mechs here. Go for night vision. Night vision really helps sometimes to see through all the smoke. So we still have three enemies on the board, which is absolutely crazy. Two enemies on the board now. Um, okay, so we have some explosions coming from that area. Nobody seems to be here at the base anymore. Nah, it's fine. That's a super interesting... Oh, I have low signal. Hello. There is a flea. I found him. He's on me. Uh, Echo 4. Echo 4. Echo 5. Okay, try to... I have no UAV, sadly. But he's trying to come around again. There he is. Should have Alpha Struck. Uh, but he is still there. Night Vision helps. So we have a Stealth Flea coming to Echo 6, guys. Watch it. And um, he's trying to go for our friends here. Rifleman is at 56. And I think he is actually engaged with them now, right? Oh, no, wait. Never mind. 
Where did he go? Oh, there he is! Keep him spotted, because that's the thing that we need to do. So he is the last enemy. It is a stealth flea, and he actually has a quite good matchup on this map. At the same time, we have still so many people on the boards that he's probably not gonna make it. He's not gonna get... Never mind! I would count that as his kill. That was a bad shot, by the way. Let's try to lag him. Cool. Gotta watch my own heat. So here we go. Uh, he's gonna make a white circle, so we're gonna intercept him here. Yeah, he's probably gonna go to Delta 6 now. Uh, I see him, he's going to Delta 6, try to intercept him. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Can we get him? If he's too close, I have a bit of a problem with uh, tracing him. So distance is actually... Distance is actually my friend here. So where did he go? Charlie 6, guys. Watch Charlie 6. Where did he... There he is. Lagged him. All right. That's a kill steal. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. So, it's not a kill steal. It's a kill secure because it's a team game, right? Now, let's take a look at the end score. That was a crazy game here. We got two killing blows. We got five kill most damage dealt. How did that happen? We got eight assists, 850 damage done, 80 to take, and seven components destroyed. And that, my friends, was your daily dose for today. That was the large pulse laser rifleman 2C. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.